Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to talk about areas, triangles, parallelograms, and rectangles. So get excited. You will need your calculator, a pen and or pencil, and your notes. You will also need your formula sheet, that bright pink piece of paper. All right? So let's get started. This first part here goes into your notebook. Okay, what is area? Area is a space inside a shape that me is measured in square units. So make sure you have that down, all right? So our questions are going to be like, how many square units would fit inside a shape? So how many squares are going to fit inside each shape that we're discussing? Okay, that's the questions we're going to be asking ourselves today. So make sure you know what an area is. It is a space inside a shape measured in square units. All right, now we're going to make sure we need that formula sheet out because all this is going to go into our formula sheet. Our first one is area of a square. Now, area of a square, here's a picture of a square. All we're going to do is take our base times our height or if you like side squared, you can do that too because all of our sides are the same length. So you can use either one of these to find your area for a square. Now a rectangle, very similar to a square. So this one, all the sides are never going to be the same, but we can use similar formula. We're just going to use area equals base times height. So we're going to take our base times our height. Now, if we talk about area of a parallelogram, here's a parallelogram here, but watch if we cut this apart a little bit and move it to the other side. Well, we just made a rectangle. So if I can cut it apart and make it look like a rectangle, then I'm going to be able to use the same formula as a rectangle. So to find a parallelogram, we're going to have area equals base times height. And our last one that we need to make sure we get down in our formula sheet, area of a triangle. Now, if you look at this, here is a parallelogram, which would be base times height. But if I cut it in half, now I have a triangle. So to find a triangle, since I'm cutting it in half, my equation is going to be area equals base times height divided by 2. All right, now that we have all these wonderful formulas on our formula sheet, we're going to go ahead and do a few examples. So you need to make sure that you get all of these in your formula sheet and all of the examples in your notes. So here's example number one. Please make sure that you get this in your notes. Our goal is to find the area of the shaded region. Now, if we look at the shaded region right here, it is a parallelogram. So our goal to find this, we're going to be using area equals base times height. Now, there's two different ways we can solve this problem. So we're going to do it both ways. And we're going to get the same answer both times. If I look here, if I call this my base, ladies and gentlemen, so my area equals 6, I need my height. Now, it's very important that when we're finding height, it has to be with the right angle. So if I look at my base, if I extend it, the closest right angle is right here. This is going to be my height from R to Q. So it's going to be 6 times 8. Now 6 times 8 is 48. And we must label it, so we're going to label it units squared. All right. Now if I come over here and I look at the exact same problem, but now what if I consider this right here to be my base? So if I make my base 12, I need my height to be perpendicular. So it has to have the right angle. Right here I have my right angle, so my height in this case would be 4. So area equals 12 times 4, which is 48 units squared. So there we go. We solved it two different ways, and we got the same answer using both ways. All right, moving on to example number two. What if a triangle has an area of 126 centimeters and a height of 14 centimeters? What is the length 
of the base. So now we're kind of working backwards here. We're still talking about area. We're talking about area of a triangle. So area equals base times height divided by 2. Now we have to plug in what we know. We know the area is 126, so I'm going to plug that in here. Equals, we don't know what our base is, that's what we're trying to find, times our height, which would be 14, all over 2. Before I continue, I like to rewrite this. I like my variables to come after my number. So I have 126 equals 14b all over 2. Well, 14 divided by 2 is just 7, so I have 126 equals 7b. To solve this problem, divide both sides by 7. 126 divided by 7 is 18. So 18 equals B. So my base is 18 centimeters. Now it's really important. It's not going to be square because we're just talking about one dimension. Only going to be squared when we're talking about the area itself. All right. Last example for the day. Here we go. Grass seed. Okay. How many pounds of grass seed should you buy to cover lawn to the right? Or for our case, it's underneath. A pound of Kentucky bluegrass seed costs a hundred, or covers, excuse me, 1,650 square feet. So first thing I have to do is look at this, figure out what shape I have going on here. Well, now on this one, it's not just a parallelogram. I have three distinct shapes. If you look here, I have a triangle connected to a parallelogram, connected to another triangle. So in order for us to solve this problem, we're going to have to find the area of the triangle, plus the area of the parallelogram, plus the area of another triangle. Now before I can do any of these, I need to know my equations. So my right triangle and triangle are going to be the same. So I have area equals base times height divided by 2, plus the area of my parallelogram, area equals base times height, plus the area of my last triangle, which is base times height divided by 2. If I look at my problem here, it looks great. I have bases everywhere, but my only problem is I do not have a height. You have to have a perpendicular height. So if we look here, I need to know this length right here, my height. In order to do that, I have a right triangle. If we think back to the last chapter, we can use Pythagorean theorem to solve this. So I'm going to have x squared plus 20 squared equals 52 squared. So x squared plus 400 equals 270, 2,704. Subtract 400 on both sides. x squared equals 2,304. Get x by itself, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So x equals 48. So my height is 48. That's very important for us to know because I need height for each one of my equations. So now that I know my height and I have a base for each one, I can go ahead and solve each one for their area. So my first triangle right here, my right triangle in red, Area equals my base, which is 20, times my height, which I found was 48, divided by 2. So area equals 960 divided by 2. So the area of my right triangle equals 480 feet squared. So that's important. That's my first one. Moving on to my second one, I have area equals base times height. My base in this one right here is 80 times my height, which I found as 48. So area equals 3,840 feet squared.
So there's my parallelogram. And remember, we're going to be adding these up in the end to find our final solution. So last but not least, we're going to find the area of our last triangle here. So area equals my base on this one right here, 40, times my height, which I found to be 48, divided by 2. So area equals 1,920 divided by 2. So the area of my last one here is 960 feet squared. So now I know my area, my total area, if I add all those up, is going to be 5,286 feet squared, which is wonderful. We know how big our area is. Now we have to figure out how many pounds of seed we need to buy. If we know our area, and one pound covers 1,650 square feet, I'm going to take my total divided by 1,650, and I am going to get 3.2. So I need to buy 3.2 pounds of seed to cover my lot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this was our last example, so that's all I have for you today. Enjoy and be merry, and I will be seeing you later. Bye.